Ever been in a conversation where you suddenly freeze, unsure of what to say next? You can almost feel the silence growing, and it's like everyone is waiting for you to speak, but you're stuck. We've all been there, and it's not a fun place to be. But don't worry, because today, we're gonna to fix that. I'm gonna share three simple, simple proven tips that will help you never run out of things to say again. These techniques aren't just theory. They've helped countless people, including myself, turn awkward silences into flowing conversations. Let's get started. Master the art of active listening. One of the biggest reasons conversations fall flat is that people aren't truly listening. It's easy to think we're paying attention when, in reality, we're just waiting for our turn to talk. Active listening is about focusing on the other person, not just their words, but also the meaning behind them. This opens up new paths for the conversation to flow naturally. For example, imagine someone says, I cut my hand working on my car last Sunday. Instead of just nodding or moving on, dig deeper. Ask questions like, what kind of car? Was it a bad cut? Do you fix cars often? These small questions spark more discussion, keeping things engaging. Active listening isn't about knowing everything, it's about showing genuine interest. Studies show that people are more likely to feel connected and engaged when they sense the other person is truly invested in the conversation. This technique not only makes interactions smoother, but also makes you a better conversationalist overall. So next time, instead of worrying about what to say next, focus on what's being said. It's that simple. Develop your interests and be curious. One of the easiest ways to keep conversations flowing is by having a range of interests. When you explore new hobbies or learn about different topics, you're constantly adding to your conversational toolkit. People love to talk about shared interests, so the more you know, the easier it is to connect with someone on a deeper level. Take, for example, the rising popularity of outdoor activities like hiking and cycling. According to the Outdoor Industry Association, over 50 million Americans participated in outdoor recreation last year alone. Imagine mentioning your latest hike or asking about someone's favorite trail. It can easily turn a dry conversation into an exciting discussion about nature, fitness, or adventure. But curiosity isn't just about knowing a lot, it's about being genuinely interested in what others have to share. Let's say you meet someone who's into a topic you don't know much about, like film photography. Asking thoughtful questions like, what's your favorite camera to shoot with, or what got you into this hobby, shows you're engaged and makes the other person feel valued. This often leads to more dynamic conversations where both sides are learning and sharing. So next time you're preparing for a conversation, think about what new interest or curiosity you can bring to the table. It'll not only make the chat more enjoyable, but also help you grow as a person. Accepting the unavoidable. Sometimes, no matter how skilled you are at keeping conversations flowing, there will be moments when things fall flat. And that's completely normal. Not every conversation is going to be exciting or effortless. For instance, you might be on a date or at a party, and you just don't click with the person you're talking to. It's important to recognize when a conversation isn't working and allow yourself to let it go. There's no need to force it or feel anxious about awkward silences. Here's the truth. Not everyone is great at keeping a conversation going. Some people might not be in the mood to talk or they simply might not share your interests. And that's okay. Trying to keep a conversation alive when it's clearly not working is like watering a plant that's already dead. It just won't grow. The key is to be comfortable with the fact that not every conversation will be a hit. Once you embrace that, you'll feel more relaxed and confident in any social situation. So if the conversation isn't flowing, don't stress. Politely move on and remember that not every interaction needs to be perfect. So there you have it. Three simple ways to never run out of things to say. Whether it's listening closely, exploring your own interests, or just being okay with silence, these strategies will change how you handle any conversation. Now let's make it personal. What's the most awkward conversation you've ever been in? Drop it in the comments below. I'd love to hear your stories. And hey, if you want more practical tips like these, don't forget to subscribe and check out the next video for even more ways to level up your social skills. See you there.